Hello witches and warlocks and welcome back to my channel. So nice to see you again. So this is really bright. <laughs> um, I cannot get used to this ring light thing. Um, my room is really quite dark and because winter's coming, um, obviously we're in autumn now, um, I assume. Yes, I think, I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, it's getting dark and it's uh i have to rely on a ring light now to light me up but i feel really really lit up i don't know why um anyway um it's an unboxing as always and this one is freya's cauldron it's come really early i think i don't know why i feel like it's come really early this time when i first saw it i instantly thought it was witch casket because it witch casket used to come in a bag this color um and then I don't know why I thought which car because it was really early. But no, it's actually Freya's Cauldron. Um, and it looks like this. It comes in a baggie like this. Um, and, oh, this is new. Look. Wow. Freya's Cauldron. Go, girl. Yes. Brandon. That used to come um, up until now. Um, in a plain box, completely plain, like nothing on it at all. And now we've got an amazing logo. Yes, Freya's Cauldron. I mean, I love Freya's Cauldron anyway, and they didn't really need to do the branding to make it any better, but I like that a lot. Well done for going all out. I like that. And, oh my God, does this ever feel heavy? So heavy. Anyway. We're going to open it up and see what's inside. Now, I don't have long really, guys. I've got to go to work tonight. Um, so I'm doing this quickly because I need to get it out of the way. I hate boxes sitting around my room because I get very much um, in, like, wanting to get into it. And I, and I don't like keeping them around. Um, okay, so we got this new little thing I've not seen before. Our new subscriber shop is now open. The shop will be open until the end of uh, the shop will be open until the end of December to allow current subscribers to purchase any exclusive collectible items they have missed, including deity plaques, deity cards, element bowls, element cards, sabbat bowls, sabbat cards, sabbat pendants etc access the shop is by password only to request your password simply contact freya on instagram okay so if i need to get any of the stuff that i'm missing but i've got to get it before december by the looks of things um and then obviously this card to say that they plant some trees we have all the information let's quickly find out what this one is about before we go into anything look ooh. okay let's have a look i think i want to say oh uh sawan so this is a sawan box yes yeah, sawan okay so this is a box all about sawan but our first thing on here because I think they've been doing element cards, um, if I remember rightly. So, yeah, I've had a fire card. I've had a water card, I do believe. I don't want to show if I've had an earth card yet. But, um, yeah, this one's spirit. So, this one is spirit. Um, and it's a nice little book of shadow sheet. Very nice. I will be eventually putting in my book of shadows. And then we got he Hecate is our goddess of the month and all about Hecate. I must admit, I don't know much about Hecate, but I hear her name mentioned a lot. Okay, right. So the first thing we have is a ritual to honor the ancestors. Very Mexican. Um... Obviously, Mexico have Day of the Dead to honour their past and deceased. It's a bit of a celebration. Comes around about this time of year, obviously. Um, 
So we've got a little ritual here and inside here we've got our little um, ancestor herb blend. We've got a orange candle, obviously because it's Halloween, and Samhain, and a quartz crystal. There is more to the spell, however, I'm assuming it will be inside the box. Um, so that is our spell. Obviously, ideally to do over Samhain. Okay, oh, this is new. October prize winner. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if this is, um, is if, if this is a thing? It, it, like, is there more than one or is it just me? But it says October box prize winner. I'm a prize winner. Oh my God, that's really cool. So let's have a look. Wow. Well, I never. And inside is this little parcel. Wow, this is exciting. And then inside that is Freya's Cauldron thing. Oh, wow. Oh my days. As if I've never won anything, guys. I never win anything. This is amazing. Oh, and it's bubble wrapped. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, wow. It's a bear claw. And it's on a crystal. <gasps> That's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Now, I'm, ho I'm assuming that somewhere, I'm hoping, will be something to tell me what this crystal is. But if you could maybe tell me, guys, if you know in the comments, how cool is that? I'm a prize winner. So they must do a winner in for every month in each box. I never knew about this. I'm assuming because when it happens, the people involved don't have a YouTube channel. I don't know, because I usually go in online and have a look to see if anyone else unboxes Freya's Cauldron. But yeah, wow, that's October box prize winner. Wow. That's amazing. Well, look at that. That's made my day. Happy Samhain. Wow, thank you, um, Freya's Cauldron. That's really amazing. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, calling your spirit guides um, is another spell. Oh, I'm really taken back by that. I never win anything. Um, it's really made my day. It really has. Like, I've had the horrible year and um, Samhain is always my favorite holiday. And, you know, so we've got white candle and a little herb blend there. Um, and it says, a white candle, you need a pen and paper, matches or lighter, spirit guide herb blend. Um, and it needs a crystal as well, which I'm assuming is in here, in the box somewhere. So we'll have a look for that little crystal. If not, then I do have that crystal um, somewhere. Okay, so we've got this little brown packet that's not labelled or anything. And inside... Oh, look at that! It's an arrow! It's a black arrow! Oh, wow! Now, I don't know if this is the crystal that I need for the spell or... But, ah, oh, I've always wanted one of these little arrows. Wow, this is gonna be an amazing box, guys. Now, I was just saying, the other day I saw these online um, and somebody had unboxed them from, or got them from the pound shop. These ones look a lot more expensive than the pound shop version and a lot better. But look, Vampire, Tears candles, four black taper candles that bleed when lit. So they, they bleed red blood. 
well, not actual blood, obviously, guys, <laughs> but it looks like blood when they, when they, basically, it's a red candle that has been dipped in black, and basically, when you melt, when it melts, the red drips down the black, it looks like blood. Um, that is so cool. Already for Samhain. Um, we have this little ritual oil, which is part of the ritual that you get. Um, and it's the power of spirit candle dressing oil. So you dress your candles with this. I wouldn't suggest maybe using them for anything else because um, they can be, um, they may not necessarily like be good on your skin. Um, but yeah, definitely dressing candles, potentially putting them in oil burners. Um, yeah, adding them to spells, that sort of thing. Um, but maybe not trying them on your skin, or at least if you're going to just put it a little patch and do a test beforehand. Um, cause I never know what's, you never know what's in them. Um, cause they are actually made by Freya, uh, Freya's Cauldron. Ooh, it smells like mint, like polos. Yeah, like polo mints. Um, yeah, it's really nice. So I can imagine that that's not going to be such a big problem if it's just mint um, oil. Could be a mixture of other stuff though. So do be careful guys. Um, we have a rosemary magic herb. So rosemary. I like these little jars. I do tend to keep them in these little jars. Unless of course I do actually own them already and then I transfer them over to other jars and then you can use these jars for more rosemary or something but i like the fact that they're labeled already so and they're in little jars and already labeled that's always good so some more rosemary okay there's an awful lot in here this time guys i wondered why mine was so heavy yes here we go spirit we have had fire and water because i have the other three two um, two. I have the other two. So we still have got two more to come, um, which is earth and air. Yeah, earth and air. So this is the spirit one. I See, I, what I love about Freya's Cauldron is when they do something, they stick to it and they, they, they go through with all of it. So you carry on going through and there isn't, they don't miss any out. I mean, I do love, um, Witch Casket, as you know, I love them to death. They are my ultimate favorite um, favorite box of all time. I think they're everybody's favorite box. But what I love about Freya's Cauldron is, is they don't make you wait for the next set of things that you're trying to collect. So if you're collecting something, get it every month and you can guarantee the next month you'll have the next one in the set. Um, which I think is so good. Look at that spirit. Mm -hmm. So cool. You know I love the elements. Um, but that's not putting down, obviously, which casket is very frustrating that they've started with a water element and I'm still waiting for the other other four. Mm. But no. Um, yes. Spirit. I love this little dish. Pewter, I do believe it's made out of. Um, and that will go onto my altar this i'm assuming is a pendant for Samhain. yep so we've got a little cauldron there and it says Samhain, and it's very it's quite heavy so it weighs the cord down you know what i'm like with these black cords guys but yes very very nice and um, let's see what it looks like on now they are quite weighty which means they they're weighted down and i these are quite long so yeah, so there you go, nice. And it hangs and it's very nice. And I think I do have all of these so far. I don't think I've missed any. So um, hopefully I will have the entire set by the end of all the holidays of this year. We hope, we say this to be true. I will have a look. Um, I was about to put it with the rest of them. <laughs> Okay, and so the next thing, oh, we've got something else. They always throw in these little plaques for each holiday. So this one will be Samhain, and it is. 
you to color in if you wish and put on your water use them as um like candle things or you know you can use them for anything really um they are to dress your water usually or you know use them as coasters if you wish you know you don't necessarily have to use them on your water if you want to use them as a coaster okay and last but not least the big item which is uh, checking the time guys because i have to go to work at half seven tonight which i've still got to eat and get ready so just enough time sort my life out and get ready for work tonight okay and of course this one is hecate there we go a plaque for hecate that's nice little goddess again the deities i'm assuming um by the way guys it's only just this to hang it with on the back um so if you wanted to hang it on i do have a hanging thing on my altar um which I'm going to put some more up, I guess. Um, but no, so that's the plaque of the month. Well, guys, what a great box, eh? So let's put this away. Oops. I'm opening the envelope. So we'll go through the list and see what we should have. So we've got the Power of Spirit Candle Dressing Oil, which I did put down here. Yes, we've got the oil. Amazing job. We got a box of vampire candles. Yes, we have. They are stunning. Look at those. Not cheap either. Okay. Um, rosemary herb jar. Yep, we got that. Very nice too. Um, um, obsidian arrowhead. Uh, where is that? This one. Obsidian arrowhead. Very nice. I think that was the other thing I needed in the spell. Um, pewter offering bowl or where's he gone there he is so pewter oh no not that one pewter pendant sawin pendant oh, that's pewter as well okay then we've got spell kits we've got two of those so we've got spell kits um, we've got calling um, your spirit guide to you and ritual honouring the ancestors. Very fitting for obviously Samhain because the Day of the Dead and all that for Halloween, uh, Mexican religion um, that they celebrate the dead um, on Halloween. Um, a collectible deity plaque. Yes, we have that. Obviously. Hecate, um, put that back in, okay, um, we then have the Spirit Pewter Element Altar Bowl, which is that one, so cute, um, we have the collect um, Collectible Deity Information Card for Hecate, we have that too, um, we have the Samhain altar tile, which is that. And it, I think that's everything on the list. Obviously the spirit card. Oh yes, I have got this. Yeah, sorry, I missed that one. Um, spirit collectible information card as well. So that's on there as well. Um, and then of course, doesn't mention it on here because I've been a winner. Woo! Um, that's exciting. I won something, guys. How cute is that? That's so cute. Okay, now. So we've got the Black Obsidian. Um, Samhain. Which is the theme of the box. I'm just going to tell you the titles to these, guys. So we've got one for the Black Obsidian. Um, we've obviously got the list. Um, one for Rosemary. Um, we have Samhain there, Hecate, um, and then we got a simple protection spell for your altar. So ran a different spell and one on spirit as well. So we've got all the information about everything in the box, split down, broken down into different things. 
well, there you go, guys. How amazing was that box? Stunning. Best box so far. Oh yes, without fail. I mean, I'm probably biased because I won something. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm just so happy. Like, now I'm assuming that there's only one winner per box every month. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very nice that I won something. I don't, um, I'm not boasting, of course. I don't like to boast, but I'm very happy. Like, I don't win anything, guys. I honestly, I'm not even saying that. Like, I never win anything. I have the worst luck. I, I never, I've never even won a raffle in my life. Like, seriously, I've never won anything. Um, but yeah, no, that is your Freya's Cauldron box. What do you think? Did you like it? Did, I mean, I loved it. There's nothing wrong with that box at all. Spirit is one of those elements we don't get a lot of, to be honest with you. Um, I've not really had any, many boxes that have spirit as the theme as well as Samhain like it fitted everything in really it's a perfect little box stunning everything in there there was a lot in there this week this week this month um I'm over the moon with it I really am I loved it tell me what you loved was there anything in there you liked is there anything you didn't like is there anything you would have done differently um you know it's not everyone's cup of tea someone did actually ask me the other day they already get they get witch casket and they get another witch box as well. Um, and they asked me whether to get Cures of Curses or um, Freya's Cauldron. Um, and I said to them that Freya's Cauldron would be the one to get if you wanted the ultimate witchy box, like witchy stuff. If you want to go a bit alternative and go for soaps and and bath bath things and shower things and a bit of witchcrafty stuff as well as you know candles and all that um i would go for cures and curses but with with Freya's cold you get everything as well and it's you know no frills everything's handmade um which is what i like so much about it um it feels a bit rustic and then obviously witch casket is very much themed um and both of them you know are good at at different things so and they are both as equal now they're getting there um to each other so i like the rusticness of freya's cauldron that's why i've kept it because i like the fact you get the pendants and you get your, your auto tiles and you get your plaques and you know you get your little bowls and i like all that sort of stuff we get a lot of stuff for our altars we get you know two spells we get you know and with witch casket you get all this fun stuff as well um both are very very good um you know and again there comes a time when you know even with witch casket occasionally the theme i don't like um but so far so good and i love the fact that they continuously carry on with the theme of the boxes with freya's cauldron they you know they fact they did they started with elements they've carried on with the elements they started with the plaques. They carried on with the plaques. Like, you know, every month you're going to get staple items and you're going to carry on with the collectibles. I do love a good collectible. Um, so, yeah. So, that is Freya's box for October, Samhain. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. Tell me what you think in the comments. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help, guys, if you give me a thumbs up because YouTube then pushed my channel a little bit more. And I am very close to 450 subscribers. Um, and I really would like to hit the 500 mark. Would be lovely. Um, not that I'm really bothered about how many subscribers. You know, each subscriber is amazing. Um, you know, yeah, I've, I've got to that point where I'm starting to get trolls now. Um, and oddly enough, it makes me laugh. Because I always wanted to get popular enough to have a troll and i've started to get them so it's very very nice um so it doesn't bother me at all i'm not offended um because they i, I don't let them get to me whatever they say i'm polite and i'm happy about it i'm like yeah okay fair enough you've got an opinion it may be a very harsh opinion it may be a very nasty opinion but it's your opinion 
and that all, that's all it is it's an opinion at the end of the day guys it's not fact it's not going to affect my life it's not going to make me burst out into tears i'm not going to change anything about myself because someone else says so um my channel is getting popular because i am who i am and i'm i don't hold anything back um what you see is what you get with me uh, you know if you think i'm a nice person because of my videos it's because i'm a nice person you know i am authentic in every way i mean everything i say i'm very honest with everything i you know look at and and open and you know and i don't mean to offend anybody i never do i just it's my opinion at the end of the day it's not a harsh opinion it's just what i like other people may like you know if it's something i don't like other people might love it um it's just an opinion at the end of the day so if you do see any trolls in my comments pay no mind because you know they don't pay my bills so i'm not going to pay them any interest so they they can say what they want because i just literally read them and laugh and think i am that popular that i have a troll <laughs> so yeah so thank you very much for watching guys um again if you don't want to miss out on any of my videos we've got amazing halloweeny boxes coming your way um we've got witch casket and of course cures and curses to come um so it's all sawin based halloweeny it's gonna be lovely um so yeah if you don't want to, if you don't want to miss out on those boxes press that little bell notification and if you watched and you haven't subscribed yet why not just subscribe i've got fantastic videos you can watch um you know i have been doing this for over a year now and um i'm loving every minute of my channel um it's just a bit of fun for me you know it's it's my world and what i you know i celebrate and what religion i believe in um and hopefully you guys can take some stuff away from it maybe you like the boxes that i unbox maybe you check out my other chat my my other videos and see what other things i have to say you know i made my own book of shadows you might want to take a look at that little series um you know it's up to you so yeah press that little subscribe button and you never know you might enjoy the rest of the stuff to come um but i'm gonna say goodbye thank you so much for watching um have an amazing Samhain, an amazing october an amazing halloween um and remember guys be careful when you're going around those streets at night doing your trick and treating um you know be careful especially in these times make sure you're keeping safe and keeping your distance so for me um i shall say goodbye and remember guys you be you and blessed be.